Hey everyone, how's it going? So, um, we have a party, a weird party, I don't even know, <laughs> a weird party of level fours that we have to level up to, um, oh, we just gotta level them up. We have a lot of level fours we have to get out of here. Uh, and we need to get the ruins, the cove, and the warrens up. And the cove doesn't have anything in the champion range, so we're gonna do this one. You'll notice we have a lot more money. I have, uh, well, if you were on Twitch, I've done a couple of these long farmstead runs, and this is all we have left to buy crystal wise. So we have another 200, 340. I need like 400 more crystals, which I could probably do in one more run to a possible to be completely done with the farmstead forever. I also fully upgraded the Nomad Wagon because I uh, want this, I just want, there are some trinkets that I really need uh, to with this party I'm building, which is really sweet. It's actually an antiquarian, uh, what, it's antiquarian, uh, occultist, man-at-arms, and, um, and uh, plague doctor working really well. It's a dodge party. I don't have enough dodge trinkets, so that's why we upgraded that. Uh, but that said, again, back into the ruins to do some leveling. And I need busts anyways. And we have cash, so let's go ahead and uh, spend some money on this and get you leveled up. You know what? Screw it. <laughs> Screw it. Let's just spend, spend all our money. Spend money to save money, right? We need four... That one's good. Let's unlock that one. But uh, that one's super important. That one's pretty good. Let's get the disease removals ready to go. And for you... Sure. We'll spend some cash. All their weapons and skills are leveled up. I checked that before. So let's get this one going. Make sure that's there in case my son wakes up. We'll do four. And then oh, we don't need many of these. Oops, we'll do three. We'll do three of those, three of those. Stack of shovels, stack of food, two stacks of torches. A couple keys. Yeah, all right. Let's go enjoy a champion dungeon. Relax a bit. For those that uh, weren't, that didn't catch the uh, farmstead runs, uh, the first one we got to 295. And then we just got a... Uh, oh, I went to the wrong one. Ah, shit, whatever. <laughs> whatever. Uh, we got, we literally got uh, like a... a Huge crit from the chalice bearer, dude. Dude, I just cleared the courtyard. Like, this was like the last real video. And you're gonna come here and start this shit again. Uh, killed our Vestal in one hit. And then, uh, totally had, uh. <laughs> totally had the last one. We were doing really good until we got the crocodilian, and the crocodilian just kicked our butt. Like, just totally kicked our butt. Might be able to bleed you. Or blight you. Oh, look at that. Such a good blight. I am loving. Loving uh, the Plague Doctor. Uh, loving. Uh, let's watch OBP get the curse right away. Or just our, our repose party going. Nice. I just need to do. Yeah, there's that accuracy debuff working in our favor again. I mean, you're dead. You're both dead, so. We'll just do that. Ah, 
I wish uh, bolster. If we could use bolster more often, I wish there was a mod to make uh, these party skills work more than once. Because I kind of want to play the game as it was before they ruined it with the uh, with the nerf. It would open up so many more parties. You know, the nice thing about this, these hallways are so short, we're not going to use a lot of torches. No, apparently we're going to get any, uh, <laughs> any scouts. All right, but the, uh, the dodge party, I'm telling you, man, it is fantastic. We had four, on stream, we had four, um... Giants, whatever they're called, in a row, and uh, didn't didn't die. Got hit twice, I think, the entire time. That's what I knew. I, I was a little unsure of it when I went into it. I tried uh, another dodge party with two antiquarians instead of um, the plague doctor, and that just did not work at all. It was, I mean, it worked, but it was so freaking slow. <laughs> it was, it was. Just too slow. I thought I clicked you. Oh, you have the uh, random energy, random target. Yeah, she has her crystal, crystal balls, which give her twenty percent damage boost, but at the same time, uh, twenty percent random target. What happens if I do this? I'm thinking. See, if this wasn't just the last two, this would be really effective for the dodge party. Minus 18% accuracy is huge. Especially when all my guys have at least 80 dodge to work with. Oh, this is nice. This is nice. Um, We'll save a torch. And come back to it. I think we could do it right now, actually. You know what? Screw it. Let's do it. We'll just abandon it. I don't really... I'm doing this to advance the week more than anything else. <laughs> Honestly. Alright, let's put you there. Let's give you... Instead of that, let's give you this to move forward. You have your move skills. Um... That's fine. I want to give you that emboldening vapors for you. And uh, I think this will be this will work fine. Yeah, that'll be fine. All right, let's go. I don't know how many more ancestors trinkets I need. I've been really lucky. The well, it could be better. Could be better. <laughs> I can get a repost in there. Ah, you know, I'll just we'll just bolster right now. We'll lunge our way forward. That yeah, won't help. Bring you back. I think about dodge right away. Let's keep moving forward. Destroyed. And we hit the with the reflection. We had a fifteen percent damage reflection. It was, it was rough. Very very rough. You know what? There you go. I'll move you forward a little bit, and then we can go like that. Doesn't really matter. Get you in position. There we go. I can totally blind you. Debuff will be a little bit harder. Such a terrible assault cannot be left unanswered. Continue the onslaught. Destroy them all. Oh, nice repost. Yes. That's how we do it. 
All right, and now when he hit me, we'll get a good repose damage on that. Yeah. You know yes. Can't random target that. I think 23 is enough. I'd rather do that. Get the accuracy penalty on you. Excellent. 27 damage that round is what we just did. No, not that him. There you go, fuck on. <laughs> fuck on. Yeah, you just focus on him. All right, 18 damage. Get our crits up. All right, this might kill you in the repost. Excellent. With the crit. Oh, like clockwork. Oh, that's not a bad one to bring as a dodge trinket. I like that. That's a nice one. And the Elder Slayer's Ring, which we don't need, but we don't need cash <laughs> more. All right, good job, everyone. Good job. Where am I? Oh, yeah, we went this way. And those were books anyway, so we could ignore those. Anyone else? Oh, now I'm curious if we have all, how many ancestors trinkets we have left. I will take those. Ignore those. Got the radiators turned on. And my cat is having uh, a near orgasmic fit. <laughs> the warm radiator. It might be a little chilly in the basement. Um, this is probably the smartest move. I might have been able to kill you, but I couldn't guarantee it. All right, let's do some healing. Seven heal, man. That's still pretty good. Nope, no group heal, but. Still. I am tempted to try my dodge party in the Crimson Court. I think it might have potential. I'm going to leave you up front. Three damage. I can most likely land that plague. All right, good. It should have been that last turn. This is how a life is taken. It's done. Excellent. And all the rip oh, whoops. Wrong misclick. It's all right. <laughs> we'll melt that corpse. All right, attack either of us. How about that? Oh, man. 50% shot. And you went for the Plague Doctor. All right. Let's get her heal on, too. Oh, I want the uh, the heals. The uh, st that stuff. Good God. I'm tired. You'd think after a four-day weekend, I'd be relaxed. But, oh, man. I'm waiting. I cannot wait for this. <laughs> for the week to start. The slow yeah. death. Unforeseen. Unforgiving. 
saving. Let's go ahead, pop that off, and throw that on there. Let's go. Pile of bones to clean them up. Meh. That barely covered the price of the holy water. Why did we get that? I don't remember why we got that. <laughs> Anyone? I might just go and... I think I'm also going to get fine just by the first jester I get. I'm going to buy a couple jesters and low-level parties to go with it. Such blockages are unsurprising. These tunnels predate even the earliest oh, settlers. Nice. <laughs> Very nice scout. Yeah, why not? I mean, let's go ahead. We got space available. Let's, yeah, let's just go there. We'll stress heal at the end. Wealth beyond measure. Awarded to the brave and the foolhardy alike. Man, I like this. I like that a lot. Can I put it in anyone here? Plus an accuracy, 5% crit. Damage, speed, and dodge. That's dodge. That's dodge. Ah, uh, not for this party. Not for this setup. All right. Work on the damage. Spike it down. Want the debuff on you? Oh, the blight landed. <laughs> Look at that. I get a free turn. That dodge is not working in my favor. There we go. That should do it. Cursed champion falls. I guess I'll heal. A momentary I guess. Very nice. Crits are the best stress heals. I subscribe to this philosophy now. We'll get there. We'll get there. Oh, that's going to hurt. <laughs> All right, triage duty on you. There we go. Ooh, that was a good one. I have an Eldritch Slayer's Ring. And I have money. I have $500,000. That is 25,000 gold per turn just for f having the weak creep forward. Goodness. A full stack of those. And for now, we will leave it. Oh! 
Well, do I want more gold is the question. Answer is probably no. Let's go down, clear out these rooms, then we'll camp. Oh yeah, let's do that. That is uh, a buff, right? Oh, a debuff. Wrong kind of buff. <laughs> the bad kind of buff. So if I if I just I wish it would save it here, right? We we have these. It doesn't make sense that these aren't marked. Uh, let's look here. Uh, cult scrawlings. We can get a positive quirk randomly, but it's not worth it. And the good old pile of books. Let's go look at what this is. Look what that is. Get some healing in. Darn. Ah, uh, maybe. I could heal a disease, so it's not that big of a deal. It's not like diseases actually cost me anything anymore. 900 gold for a disease. Two more damage for you. There you go. Ah, I love eggnog coffee. Guys, I love I love the fall and the winter. It's the best. A decisive bubbling. Stress heal. Plus two speed. Great is the weapon that cuts on its own. Not one of my favorite battle buffs. We had a pretty good party. The one that got to 295 was the Vestal, Jester, uh, Shieldbreaker, and Hellion. And that was a pretty decent party. I still think two Shieldbreakers could be very good with the right. I mean, that seems like the ideal. I'd call it the ideal standard party. Uh, two portraits is worth a lot of money. And get rid of these. And I need that. And I could get rid of shovels, can't I? Yeah. Yes, I can. Now oh, we can get some more food if we wanted it. Thank you, kind sir. Heal you. A brilliant confluence of skill and purpose. Land. Nice. Well struck. With the crit, what's yours? Minus sixty six percent stress. You have a great crit bonus. Probably better off focusing on you now. But I can't kill you. I could have killed you this turn now that I think about it. It's alright. Just stress. Well, that works out for me. Sneak in one. Oh, perfect. Thanks. I hit you with both. Oh, never mind. Um, 
I really just need to do one damage to you, so. There you go. Let's just get you out of here. Nine damage per turn. Two reposts. Lost that mathematically. Pop you in the belly. There you go. 12, 15, three more damage. Thank you very much. Now heal before he moves. Ah, get me that free heal. Sanguination be considered a virtue. And we got the uh, herbs back. What are we fighting here? All right, standard party. Blight that back row. Lunge you. Work on you. Oh, and no, I can't do the whole back row now. So, let's get you going. You are dead in three actions. Let's... Never mind. I say. Let's make that shorter. Ah, right, you're dead next turn. that'll help. Oh, that should totally stun him. Right, you are dead before you act, so it's just you left. I could do seven damage to anyone. Yep. And, uh, drop those. <laughs> nice. <laughs> drop those. And while we're here, let's go look. Good job, everyone. And we, the only one we didn't look at... No, those were books. And I, those were books too, I think. Very effective. Alright, let's clear up some space. A spark without kindling is a goal without hope. Let's get stressed down. No one is diseased. Oh, you have one stress. I literally don't care about, care about the rest, do I? No, nope. we're good. Yeah, sure, whatever. Nice heal, actually. Uh, 
As the light gains purchase, spirits are lifted and purpose is made clear. Oh, we got an extra citrine <laughs> before they got the lights. Oh, you know what? Sure, I'll take it. Good job, everyone. Oh, that, is, that is a haul. Got 16 grand out of it. 54. <laughs> 54 crests, 10 portraits, 6 busts. And oh, only one level 5 out of that. We got uh, the Ague. That's a bad one. Elder Slayer is fine. And you picked up a disease as well. A wasting Sickness, Warren's Adventure. You picked up a disease that lets you pick up diseases. All right, let's go put you guys. We had a whole bunch of people. I was lord of this place. Hey, the fanatic smack. I gotta find him. The hey everyone, as I said last time, we're gonna hop into another of uh, these Warren runs, and we have we have some fun stuff. So let's bring for you. You know, we'll bring that. That's fine. I don't use you often at all, and so I'm not actually sure. 25% damage melee. That looks good. Crit and accuracy with the food consumed. And I just normally do, like, camp <laughs> camping with you. Uh, let's give you some fun stuff. Anything cool here? You know, let's let's play with that. Let's just have some fun. I'm gonna have you aggressive on the attack. This will give you damage, plus twenty five percent damage. And uh let's give you the crit or bleed. Let's give you bleed chance. Always good to have a little bit of that, no matter what. And then mm, I should probably bring a healer, shouldn't I? You're not a good healer. I don't even know if I need you, Reynold. Hold on one second. Sort by class. One more of you. Two, two, two. No, I guess I, sh I do need you. But we do need a better healer for this. And in terms of level three or four healers... I don't have any options. We'll bring Pasta Force for this. Oh, Metal Before Madness. I like it. All right, then. Well, do I want to give you some damage? Or... You don't need a heal bonus, honestly. You really don't. So let's give you some damage. And this, and actually, I have fallen in love with with uh, the aggressive occultist in my new runs. There we go. Gonna put you there, put you there. Crit. All right. We might not be, do be doing too many kills, but that's good. Let's Get this in the order I want you to bring forward. Finish him will help because I have I'm gonna be able to stun and um, a mark for death. Don't really not really a mark party here. Caltrops in case we need it. No, you know we'll do the flashbang. You've got your setup. You are going to be different since you're up front. Sacrificial, sacrificial stab is great. Oh, weakening curse. Vulnerability hex if we want the mark. The stun, which is great. And demon's pull. Hold on. Let's... The stun's really great. We'll leave the stun. We'll take vulnerability hex and we'll put the heal on you. As we should. And, um... I don't think I'll be battle balloting that often for this. So we will have the two bleeds. 
of the Dirk's Tab and the Finale for up front. I think it'll work fine. Is it a short dungeon? Or no, we're going into the into the Warrens. Same difference. I want deeds because what we're going to do is we're going to buy the Athenium. That is my goal at least. Definitely buy the Athenium. And one of these for damage. Alright, let's go. I don't know if I could do a shambler with this party. I think I can. I think I can. They breed quickly down there in the dark. But perhaps we can slay them even faster. Oh, look at that scout. Oh, that saves me so much time. Alright. Who is my best trap guy? Probably you? Yeah. With the stress heal. I like the green gamison on you. There was no reason for me to do that before. It's alright. Ornaments. Deeds. Deeds are what we're playing with today. So if only you can go faster though, huh? So this is same damage. This is more crit. That's more damage versus stun. That's more versus mark. It's actually a nice little, little setup. I need to use the bounty hunter more. Oh, this is my problem. This might work. Let's see what he can do from the back row. Accuracy is your only problem. Yeah. As we see there. Again, doesn't really matter, does it? <laughs> Let's just work your way forward. Be wary. Triumphant pride All right, uh, from the back row, no, yes, yes, no. All right, so that's just not going to work from there. We'll keep the Dirk Stab on. We'll keep that on. I'll take these off, and I guess I will be battle balloting. As is tradition. Whatever, Battle Ballad is great. I'm not gonna lie. It might be one of the best skills in the entire game. Although what would be better would be more dodging. This Blight, or that Stun might be the best stun in the game too. Well, not who I wanted to hit, but all right. Sure. Man, I really wish I had a repost. Repost spoil me. <laughs> they absolutely spoil me. All right, I could stun you. There is some damage. And a blight. Your dinky blight. Which really isn't even worth the, uh, worth the effort. 7 to 14. Yeah, I get that human damage bonus. Bonus. Alright, I guess we gotta heal now. Gotta heal. Why not? Wow. 
Ah, we landed the blight again. It's such a worthless blight. I don't know why I actually like this item so much. Alright, you're dead. Eh, not who I wanted to hit, so we'll go ahead and do that. I make best use of that turn. I love it. I love it. Yeah, that uh, that chalice right there, when he's fully leveled up, gives him a stun chance of 180 just by itself. And that is a ramp. Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. I definitely don't need that stun stone. Don't need that either. That's what I like to see. Take that. Otherworldly corruption. Take that. And take that. Alright. Deeds are the most important. Go ahead and check down there. Free money. I'm going to look again, because I, I just banished it from my head. But books. Can anything good come of books? Um, there's a 33% chance I'm going to negative quirk. A 25% chance I'll lose light. No. And a 22% chance I'll gain more stress. No, there's nothing good come of that. There's a 1 in 6 chance I can get a positive quirk. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the only thing good that can come with that. Everything else is bad. Is that gonna be a collector? It could be a collector. Nope. This is a good party for a man at arms though. Lead with my super healer. Go for it. The only time the occultist has bad heals is when you're on death's door. That is a known fact. Duh. Suboptimal. Baby bleeds. Their formation is broken. Maintain the offensive. I probably do really well with the party of multiple bonnie hunters. Destroy them all. Nice fight. You know, I could just march him forward for finale. I don't think it would actually affect anyone's 
fighting ability. There we go. And there's a zero. Another abomination cleansed from our lands. And we'll play with that that idea. I like it. Back to the pit. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow. You know what? I gotta turn that killer. off. It's just I don't even hear it anymore. Gameplay? Quest warnings? No. Full screen? Nope, nope, nope. Audio? Let's turn these off. Whoops. Blockages are unsurprising. These tunnels oh, well. predated <laughs> the earliest settlers. Oh, freaking well. Who wants a buff? Such a good buff. Hacks laden with loot are often low on supplies. Oh, hey, a good one. Who has the worst quirk? Calm is pretty bad, but not the worst. That's pretty bad, actually. Pasta Force is fantastic. Zoophobia. Bad in here. But not so big. Diurnal. Faithless. Worst taker. Um, probably you. Check it out. That's a good one. I'm gonna walk my way forward till I can finale. This is fine. I love how his heal works in any position. You're gonna need that. The bigger the beast. Yep, that's gonna be just what we're gonna do. <laughs> we're just gonna walk forward. Kicking ass as we go. Alright, I'm gonna take one more turn. Try to get another heal out of this. Perfect. Precision and power. This expedition that I think I have flash fire gunpowder. I'm not going to waste the space for it, but I'm pretty sure I have that. traps on this one. This is one of those for being at a very low level they are very uh, engaged in getting me back into the courtyard it seems. Oh, let's go ahead and kill that guy. They really want me back. I need to get rid of that, that other minus 50% damage on the first turn. That one's vile. Good job, Pasta Force. The blood 
seconds. Get you dead this turn if we can. One ten, one forty. There's a fifty percent chance, but we'll just do this and get you marked. Very good. Excellent's done. Annihilated. A trifling. All right, victory. go ahead and. But a victory nonetheless. Well, one more, I think. We'll see if this is it. Could definitely heal this round, though. The only problem is the occultist is so damn useful, damage-wise. It makes me not want to heal with him. Which tells me I need two occultists. Which would actually be a pretty freaking great party. There you go. There's the occultist I know and love. Two zero heals in a row. Oh, I wanted to get him. Let's do it again. Nice one. That's a disease. I guess I got a stress heal. Get back here. We bypass the guy who needs the stress heal the most. Skip right over him. Oh, let's do the most damage. What's that point? There. And that's why I don't use occultists anymore. They just, I feel like they are just more fickle than they used to be. I relied on him my first playthrough, but in hindsight we didn't get very far in that first playthrough either. So it might not be accurate. In Radiance, may we find victory. Is that all he does? Oh, I need to heal. And down we go. Five more damage. Good dodge. I can hit you with you. Alright, you're dead. Alright, we're good. I can work with that. Twenty-two stress healed per turn. Eradicate. 
eradicated. These nightmarish creatures can Swap be felled. They can be beaten. All right, not a very profitable run. As it turns out, oh, a lot of courtyard guys in this run. Holy hell. Oh, battle ballad. That's fine. All right. I can kill you with one hit if I'm lucky. I am not lucky. There we go. I wasted on you, but okay, fine. Cannot stun you. I'm gonna act first anyway. I'm surprised I don't get any human bonuses for these guys. They're still human enough. Good, good, good. Oh, one hit point left. That 20% got me. Alright, let's just kill you. I could stun you. Oh, never mind. Wow. As victories mount, so too will resistance. We're running out of places to go. The way is lit. The path is clear. This is the last one or the next room? That's the last room. Alright. Might as well camp here, clear up some space, do some buffs. A moment of respite. A chance to steel oneself against the coming horrors. Nothing useful. Nothing useful. Yeah, let's see if there's going to be a size 2. Get rid of that. Alright. We're good. As the light gains purchase, spirits are lifted, and purpose is made clear. Medium dungeons. Have some reward for a task well performed. That's a bad combo right there. Who do I kill first? Probably, probably the stress. Well, no, probably you. At this point. Impressive. Let's spend some money getting rid of the bad quirks. I think we have enough in the bank. <laughs> we can uh, just take one character in our previous run and fix their bad quirks and maybe lock in lock in their good ones. The priority is going to be accuracy followed by crit followed by uh, damage maybe maybe dodge accuracy totally is the number one that we need There are many ways to get better. To increase dot or increase damage, but not a lot of ways to increase accuracy and crit. It's my reasoning at least. You know what? Let's do that. Buy us a turn.
inspiration and improvement. Well struck. There we go. And we are done. Success so clearly in view. Or is it merely a trick of the there light? You go. The darkness holds much worse than mere trickery and boogeymen. Great. Good job, everyone. Their squeals fade. Their confidence is shaken. Another eight grand. Evasive. That is actually nice. Flawed release. Gray rot. Man, all the diseases and plutomania. All right. You answered the letter. Oh, I don't have enough. This, yeah, this can actually cure the curse if we had thirty. I don't think I can actually. No. Unfortunately not. That's only one direction. If you're still here, I want to take a moment to say thank you for watching. Please leave a comment or click the like and subscribe buttons below. Every little bit of engagement helps this channel grow. Thank you and adios.